Welcome back guys, Mozzy from the Milo Bros here and today I'm going to be doing a little mod installation and review on Quartz Plus. Now Quartz Plus is a mod that I have made myself so I'm obviously going to be biased and say it's absolutely amazing. I'm just joking, I'm not going to be like that. It's, it's alright, I like it. I'm proud of it. Anyway, to install it first of all you're going to need, need Minecraft Forge so head over to this website up there and I want you to click either the recommended or the recommended 1.6.2 installer download now it's gonna take you to an adfly link and you're gonna have to wait five seconds which is just standard they want to earn some money let them okay skip the advert and there you go automatically download it won't have a little one next to it because this is obviously the second one I've downloaded now for some reason mine's gonna run as Mine's going to open up as the, uh, not a, uh, not a jar. Mine will open it in a, uh, WinRAR archive. So what you want to do if you have that, just open it with Java. You won't need to do that, you can just double click it if you want. Let me just close that. There we go. And now just click install client, make sure it's on that, otherwise you'll install it on server. And select the path of your dot minecraft and just press ok there we go and now it's installed so that's lovely now what you need to do is go to the course plus download link which will be in the description of the video as well as the um, minecraft forge one and just hit download you don't have to wait five seconds or whatever save it in your downloads and now while that's downloading what you want to do is hold down the windows button and r type in app data or percent app data percent press enter go into roaming dot minecraft mods and in there is where you drop the quartz plus zip file and there we go the mod is now installed so let's just show you let's just prove that it is installed and there we go just play as myself thank you full screen and play Make sure you select 1.6.2 as well in the bottom corner where you can select it. Otherwise, you'll be launching on a totally different one. Right, here we go. Just all my random games. <laughs> I got quite a few. Alright then, here we go. And you'll see in mods, there it is. Course Plus, it's not it's version 0 0.01, it's version 1. And I'm just going to... That, that's that's for later. I'm I'm just waiting. And here we go, let's make a word. Uh quart quartz plus okay, creative, create a new world. And let's just prove to you that it has worked. So hurry up and build the terrain for me so I can show you it's worked. And there we go. That's proof enough. Now I'll be back in a moment when I've set up for the mod review. See you in a bit. Alright, we're back, and now we're going into the mod review part of this video. So, the Quartz Plus mod adds about 12 items, 12 new items to the game altogether, but the main, well, I suppose the main item in all of the recipes is actually refined quartz. To make refined quartz, what you do is you chuck your nether quartz in a furnace, and then that'll cook up into refined quartz which is used in every single recipe you see here yep it is and obviously in these recipes the stick is replaced with a blaze rod because sort of a nether nether um tool or whatever you want to call it and this is the ref what the refined quartz looks like looks like um some cheese very nice a bit white cheese actually Okay, anyway, <laughs> the recipes for these are quite self-explanatory, like the normal, but instead of the cow, ca really? Right, that's it, let's, let's test out the sword, shall we? Thank you. Okay, sword does 8 damage, if you get a crit, I think it can do 10, maybe a bit more, but yeah, it's pretty good, and all of the tools are pretty shiny and they have a blue name. Which is pretty cool. And next up we have the pickaxe. All of the recipes are in here. Just saying. And the pickaxe is pretty awesome as well. So let me head on into 
survival quickly so I can demonstrate the mining speed of the pickaxe. All of these items are pretty much the same uh, like speed, power, damage as normal diamond but they just have less durability because they shouldn't be as overpowered as diamonds I thought. And as you can see there it's pretty quick which is very nice. Nice to have a very fast pickaxe. So let's put that back in. And next up is the axe. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to demonstrate this as there's no trees. I guess there's a tree there. Come on tree. Come down here. Let's go get this tree. And the axe is pretty fast as well. Actually, should I go for the tree? I guess I'll show you guys anyway. I may as well show it to you. But yeah, this mod will be released today. So it's not actually released yet while I'm doing this video. But just doing some final testing and stuff. Decided to make some videos about it. It's all good. So that was the axe. Very fast and the durability on all of the tools is a thousand so it has a thousand uses that is a lot of uses for a tool so you shouldn't run out very soon so we'll put the axe back in and we'll take the shovel now all of these textures were also done by me so sorry if they're really bad I tried my best <laughs> this was just meant to be a test mod but it actually turned out to be proper good well good in my standards right so that was the shovel very good nice and fast the hoe yeah <coughs> The hoe is pretty simple. Right click, tilts to the ground. Nothing new there. And the armor. The armor is very nice. The armor is about the same or slightly more protection as diamond. And it's got less durability though. That's the problem. And I look pretty, pretty, pretty cool, don't I? Oh yeah, look at me. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Alright, anyway. Now, this is my favorite item. I'm just going to have to take some of that out of there. Nether quartz. Right. Now, this is the quartz wand. And it's a very, very expensive recipe. As it requires a dragon egg. But I can assure you, it is worth it. Now, with this quartz wand, once you've finally made it, once you killed the ender dragon, got its egg, you need nether quartz as ammo for it. Now, I'll put it in the hot bar so you can see it decreasing as I shoot. But... If you look closely, you can see it fires arrows. Now it fires them super fast. Just look at that. Ready? One hit kill. One hit kill. One hit kill. This, this bow. It's not even a bow, it's a wand. It's just amazing. I love it. And if you can see in the bottom right, the uh, nether quartz is disappearing. It's not the refined quartz as ammo. Don't be mistaken. It's also a way of turning the quartz into arrows <laughs> if you want to if you have no other use for it now you can probably see this block here already you're probably wondering what's this block and yeah this block is the refined quartz block to make this you need eight refined quartz in a circle and one glowstone dust in the middle and that gives you one refined quartz block it will give out some light as well which is pretty cool that's why it requires the glowstone as i was saying this is pretty much a nether themed uh, mod but that's pretty mu much it for the mod so thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed make sure to download the mod like and subscribe thank you for watching catch you next time